okay so finally i have succeeded in building the push pull amplifier stage using single supply which i was not able to do previously i took some lesson and then i was able to do this um uh, first i used to think that we need to use a 12 power supplies to build a push pull amplifier uh, this is the push pull amplifier stage which we are seeing now okay and uh, this is comprised of two transistors uh, the pull up side is uh, 2n3904 pull down is uh, 29 uh, 2n3906 and you can see there are two diodes uh, general purpose diodes i n4007 and two resistors of 330 ohm actually these are used to bias the push pull amplifier such that uh, on the in no load case the quiescent supply quiescent point is set such that the output is half of the vcc supply so currently you can see 5 volt uh, so obviously it is at uh, 2.5 volts output and then we have connected a decoupling capacitor in the center it's a pretty huge one that's a 2000 microfarad capacitor and this uh, capacitor is being used uh, to for coupling with the speaker okay so this was the previous stage uh, which i had previously built using uh, bc547 uh, this is the c amplifier which amplifies the voltage of the signal coming from the speaker in the computer and uh, then the second stage push pull amplifier amplify and provides as a buffer which is uh, such that it uh, is able to supply enough current that can be driven into the speaker the uh, 1000 microfarad capacitor is uh, selected such that uh, the any dc value can be blocked to the speaker so that uh, any of the power consumption that is actually happening is actually through the biasing resistors and the current passing through the transistor itself and because of uh, biasing them into the q points okay. so the 1000 microfarad is selected such that when we connect it across a 8 ohm uh, speaker uh, so the high pass filter is uh, cut off or cut in frequency is uh, set such that it is uh, 19.7 hertz so which is actually the starting point of audio frequency range so uh, previously i was selecting one microfarad and uh, 10 microfarad without calculating and it used to give very bad value in sound quality so that is what is happening okay so as you can see everything is fine and uh, now my static power dissipation has also pretty much uh, decreased as you can see it's only 24 milliamps as compared to previous that was 100 milliamps okay so and uh, now what is actually happening is that in single supply uh, so in the first uh, in the positive half cycle of the input the uh, uh, to uh, npn transistor is 2n3904 connect to the vcc actually charges the capacitor in the negative half cycle it turns on turns off the 2n3904 that's the npn and turns on the pnp the pnp actually discharges the capacitor so in this way actually the current is traveling in both ways input and output through the capacitor which is, i was not able to accomplish previously since uh, i thought current will be not able to transfer directly from ground to that okay so you know and uh, since the diodes are connected they are able to compensate the vb drops because of the transistors and uh, which uh, change uh, dynamically on increasing loads and uh, as a result uh, we get very smooth output uh, kind of at least and there is very less non-linear distortion so we can actually see that if we change the value of these uh, resistors 330 ohms then the non-linear distortion can be even minimized and uh, amplifier power can be also increased so and on that also another thing is that it was on the biasing resistors 330 ohms that are connected in top side and down side on that also the distortion of uh, output depends like uh, uh, when i used one kilo ohm both so i after four kilohertz of sine wave input uh, after four kilohertz frequency input outputs uh, used to get distorted when i used 330 ohm um, it was slightly better uh, after 8 or 9 kilohertz it gets distorted now but anyway the sound quality is quite reasonable and it's
sound quality is pretty good. There is some slight distortion, but it is okay. Let's go. 